So my favorite thing about teaching film and new media studies at USF is... I mean, just small things like watching the films with the students. You form these little communities with them and it's really quite wonderful to be able to share art with people for, for a living. We all grow up with moving images in our lives from a very, very early age. The first time I see in a student the aha, I got it moment. So we talk about both sound and music. I try to give them some sense of like terminology and these are the debates and issues. And nowadays, we start engaging with moving images before we even start to engage with linguistic media like books uh, and other forms. So the key benefit or the key joy in my job is seeing these young people doing that uh, continually over and over again. You see that kind of spark of uh, joy when people realize how much they love this stuff and how hard they want to pursue it. So the moment when they realize that things we've been learning piecemeal, so um, what film style might be composed of, how a narrative works. It has, you know, a cause and effect structure. Sometimes there are flashbacks or flash forwards. The way that sound design brings together that plot, together with that style. The students have enjoyed it, I think, because it gives them a whole different set of, like, tools and ideas and um, context to think about film in a completely different kind of way. An important part of my job is getting students to become responsible, critical, and above all creative uh, media consumers, but also potentially movie makers, right, or, or moving image makers. So I want students, I guess you could say, to become better citizens of media, to be able to recognize those influences and those shapings when they're happening, again, not in a maniacal way, but in a way that sort of softly buffets us in certain directions, and in ways that they then might say, hey, I, I wonder if that could be different. The language of visual, audiovisual media, video, and things like that, it's becoming increasingly important to every aspect of life, not just entertainment, but politics and things like that as well. I kind of think of what I do as almost a form of like uh, audiovisual literacy training where you teach students to pay really close attention to how images are constructed, for example, and to understand, you know, the implicit ideologies or philosophies of the media that go into such images. Mostly what I want them to get is like um, a set of ideas and terminology and skills. So what I'd like for them to be able to do is kind of leave my class and now have a set of um, skills to be able to describe and identify and think about the way all sound and music works in film. And that's the kind of thing that I just can't get enough of. If I could, I'd do that every single day for free. <laughs> uh, take out the for free part. <laughs> yeah. Uh.